Je suis Charlie. Hello, my friends. I'm Professor Hans von Puppet. By now, I'm sure you've heard of the horrible terrorist attack in Paris the other day. Two guys dressed in black and shooting AK-47s murdered 12 people and injured a dozen more. Though they also killed a couple of cops in the process, their victims were a bunch of satirical cartoonists. Why? The target of the attack was the French satirical weekly newspaper Charlie Edbo. Now, Charlie Edbo typically does topical satire. It is full of cartoons and caricatures of all kinds of famous and powerful people. They routinely irreverently mock all religions and probably offend all kinds of people while informing and entertaining others. They've been doing this since the 70s. You see, like in America, this kind of thing is protected speech in France. Liberté, fraternité, égalité. That's the motto of France. Freedom, brotherhood, equality. No one has come forward to take credit for this horrible attack, but based on what the gunmen were shouting as they fled the scene, Allah la Akba, they were murdering these cartoonists and public servants protecting them in the name of God, which is, in my opinion, extremely disgusting. These cartoonists never did drone strikes on anyone or invaded any countries or destabilized any governments. They just drew pictures. You see, in some parts of the Islamic world, depictions of the Prophet Muhammad are strictly forbidden. It's meant to stop idolatry, it seems. And Charlie Edbo not only depicted Muhammad, they straight up mocked him, as they regularly do Jesus, Moses, Popes, Presidents, everybody, really. Now, according to the actual Quran, if someone insults the Prophet, you are supposed to just stop paying attention to them, and then return to the conversation when the offense has stopped. Apparently, these guys missed that page. Now, I know this kind of violence is not representative of all of Islam, or even most of Islam, but it's done in the name of Islam. And enough of Islam is okay with it that it keeps not getting quashed from within. Now, I have no idea what the solution to this is, besides tracking down these assholes who did this and locking them up. But the best we can do is the best we can do. As the media, as comedians, political or otherwise, we should not be made to censor ourselves or live in fear. Our freedom of speech is what allows us to have a society worth having. And Charlie Edbo, they didn't stop when the officers were firebombed in 2011, probably by the same people, and they have not stopped now. They usually have a weekly circulation of about 100,000 newspapers. Next week, they're printing a million copies. And I bet they sell out. These guys have balls. And as the vigils in France have shown, our solidarity and courage may be the best weapon against these fanatics who can't take a joke. God, I'm sorry this video is not funnier, but you know, terrorism. Oh, hang on, I know. I can show you the cartoon I drew of Mohammed. It's hilarious. Hang on, here it is. Um, this is it here. What do you... No, wait, this is Jesus. Hang on. Um, uh, this one, maybe? No. No, no, that's uh, Young Santa Claus. Uh, here we go. Do, 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 do. I think this is the... God, no, that one's Abe Lincoln. Hmm, I don't know. It's around here. Doggone it, it's around here somewhere. Believe me, it was incredibly satirical.